Hello coders and welcome to the introduction to this tip calculator project. In this video, I'm going to be going through the course structure, what it is that you're going to be developing and building, where to get the code from, as well as any prior knowledge needed before you actually take on this course. So first of all, this course is about a tip calculator. This is an application that you can use to calculate how much money you need to pay for a particular bill. So this application has three fields that you can provide. The first one is the total bill. So this is the bill that comes in. The second one is an optional percentage of a tip that you want to give. And then the last one is the amount of people that you want to divide the bill by. So it's going to do a series of calculations based upon those inputs. The application itself is built in HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. And we divide each of the tutorials to cover those specific languages. In the first tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you HTML. This includes how to create a HTML form with the various inputs needed for this application. Also, I'll be going through the various different validation in terms of controlling what gets submitted. We're also going to have another form and that form will be disabled in the, in the sense of having disabled values. And those values are going to be populated by the JavaScript later on in the course. Once we've created the HTML for the application, the next tutorial will cover how to style our application using CSS. And in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you the various CSS selectors that we need to use to identify the various elements of our application. I'm also going to be demonstrating how to use shorthand rules in CSS. So this will reduce the amount of code that you need to write. And we're also going to cover box shadows and borders as well as hover states for the button. At the end of the second tutorial, you'll have an application that is styled up. The next thing we need to focus on is the behaviors of this application. And to do this, we use JavaScript. And this is what I teach in the third tutorial in this course. The last tutorial is quite a large one because there's lots of JavaScript that I need to teach, including JavaScript variables, JavaScript form, events, calculations, functions and function calls, operators, control structures, and lots of other things as well. Now, this is a beginner friendly course and we're not going to be focusing or using or relying on any frameworks. This is just pure vanilla JavaScript, HTML and CSS. And in terms of the prior knowledge, I suppose it would be a good idea to at least take a look at the HTML for beginners course that I've got. I put that in the show notes below, but really it's a beginner friendly course. So this really is a course that you can pick up as the first ever thing that you do with perhaps JavaScript or CSS to actually build an application. Once you of course have some foundation, some knowledge of the code. So I would expect that the people to take this on would have some knowledge of say JavaScript, some knowledge of HTML and some knowledge of CSS, but you don't need to be a pro. You don't need to be doing this stuff for months and months and months. This could be your first ever application that you build. As I go through this code, I'll be showing you and demonstrating the various parts of the files and the code and the line numbers to actually go through. What I've actually done is I've created this application first. And then as I've been recording these tutorials, I've been basically reverse engineering what I had previously done. So in some places we have the original code on the left hand side, and then I recreate the code on the right hand side in a split pane kind of view and then talk through everything that I do line by line and then debug that as I go. This means that it shouldn't really be a copy and paste course because I wanted to avoid that. I want to explain all the various things that I do as I do them and actually show them coming back to the browser. This means that we're going to cover every line in this course in a very methodic fashion. And I'll be going back to the browser to get feedback loops to the things that we produce. It's not a case of just simply copying the code and it works. I'm actually going to explain 
everything line by line and how it interacts with the application that you're developing. And talking about the code, all of that is available. It's in the link in the show notes below. So you can download that code and follow along. Now, as you go through this course, you might have a bunch of questions and I've targeted this specifically to beginner programmers. If you've got a question, then please do ask, but do so on our Discord server. Go to howtocodewell.net forward slash Discord. There's a fantastic community there of coders and we're all helping each other out. There's a channel in there for coding help and a channel in there for new coders. So please do join and then use those channels to ask various questions about this course. And talking about the Discord server, I am having conversations with people at the moment about what to do in the next course. So if you've got any suggestions, then do let me know. So if this course interests you, then please do subscribe to the How To Code Well YouTube channel and select that notification bell icon so you are notified when the tutorials are published. Also, check out the howtocodewell.net website for other courses and tutorials like this one. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope to see you in the first tutorial. Happy coding. Cheers. Bye.